has there ever been anything that's happened where you've gone, fuck this, it's not worth it? Yeah, <laughs> like, has any, yeah. have you been have you been heckled or no jokes nah, flying not, or not, not heckled, not necessarily heckled or more like scared off, but just like sometimes as I've gotten more into it, I've, I've you sort of get to know the industry a bit and and you try to make it in the industry and and get on good gigs and get to know people and network. And, and I remember that I had that feeling last festival. I just had a couple of really low ticket sale nights, so about five or seven people in the audience. And I was like, ah, oh, this just isn't like, why aren't more people here? Like, this isn't fun. And then I went, well, what, what are you, what are you doing it for? Did you mm. start, did you start doing it so you could sell hundreds of tickets at the Melbourne Comedy Festival? No, like you did. I sat to myself and I said, well, the fact that when you, when I started eight, nine years ago, Cam. When I when you first start, you have no jokes. Like, so if I now I'm nine years in and about to do my third run at the festival. Nine years ago, if someone if someone said that to me that oh, in seven years you'll have enough, you'll be confident enough to run an hour at the festival, then like what else? What else do you need? Yeah, really. Like I yeah. was able to I put together a show that I was happy with, and I actually read Will Anderson's book recently. He put out a new book and he said when he started 30 years ago his whole goal was to do one show at the comedy festival he's now done 25 mm. so like yeah and he's obviously kicked on to be the household name but that that sentiment of i just want to do the comedy festival that's yeah. that's it that's yeah that's cool and so is that the, the only way you sort of bounce back from those low points where you you got five six ticket sales? Like what what do you do? How do you bounce back well, from that? The, the the irony is is that sometimes there's a bit of a myth that the big crowds are the better ones. Mm. I reckon there was a couple of nights last year where I had five or seven in the audience, and I had a better time with those five people than I did some nights where I had thirty five or yeah, fifty. Yeah. So it is it is it's a funny little balance that I had a really good time. I remember there was, yeah, one night there was five and I said, and three of the people I knew personally, so they were there. (laughs) (laughs) So two people were there off their own, but like, you know, just out of the blue. And I said, well, we can, I can do the show or we can just go to that bar across the road and we can have a drink and I'll just talk to you for an hour because that's basically what we're doing at this point. (laughs) And the people were there, they were like, yeah, do the show. And I sat there, did the show and had a great time. and, And that was a moment too where I went, if this if this is my ceiling, like doing the comedy festival every year for a couple of weeks, doing 10 or 12, 14 shows and having nights where there's less than 10 people, if this is if this is as good as it gets for me, is this enough? You know what I mean? So like, yeah. if this if this is enough and I sort of sat there for a moment and well it is and as soon as this isn't as soon as this isn't enough, that's when I'll quit.